fight this to the end. For you, Sam. I don't have time to draw you today, Lucky. Although you are by far the best and most prestigious model. You are gonna have to save your cute poses for another day. New town, new day, new walls to conquer. That is beautiful. And moving, I mean, there's so much life to it. This is a perfect welcome to the new pediatric board. Mm. Well, you know my office is near to here, so if you have anything, I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> you need a hand with anything? Vanessa. Vanessa. Oh, you're back in town. Sorry, I'm late. The plane from Boston was delayed as usual. You're here now, right? That's what matters. Right. Cool. So, I made some changes on the plane. Okay. Got in touch with the city for the final code inspections. Good. There should be no further delays. Awesome. Is that the art for the lobby? For the whole wall to the entrance to the new pediatric waiting area. What do you think? I thought we were going for art that would complement the modern lines of the building. You know, the board thought she captures a lot of innocence that would connect with younger patients. Besides, she has a lot of experience. It's a little juvenile, don't you think? I mean, I didn't spend all this money on industrial materials to have it covered with clouds and butterflies. Well, I like to think I've captured the essence of the community in my sketch. <laughs> Either way, murals for the patients, not you. <laughs> Vanessa Brent, juvenile artist. Pleased to meet you. Uh, I'm sorry if I uh, offended you. I should get started on the mural. I have a tangle lesson to get to later, and Carlos cannot be kept waiting. Hmm. Oh, let's take a look at those revisions. I'm really curious to see what you came up with. All right, sounds good. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. All right, Samantha, let's do this. But the guest house is mine. I, I built it, Mom. I, I kind of own it. I'm sorry, sweetheart, but you know I have to make hay while the sun shines. It's high season. I needed the spillover. Well, that my hard work and expensive degree are paying off for you. That's not the only bonus of your degree. Bragging rights about your big building projects at town socials is a huge plus. It's so easy to wind Joyce up when she starts in with her mice on this and mice on that. And I just mentioned the New Haven Theater opening, the kind words the mayor said. And she really has to eat her pie. <laughs> so why don't you get settled in that lovely room upstairs? I have slept in that room. Lovely isn't the word that comes to mind when the pipes start knocking. That's all part of the charm of the inn. And maybe it'll inspire you to get your tools out and help fix the banging. Hmm. Yeah. It's probably been challenging without Dad's magical handyman touch. It's not the only thing I miss. But I'm so lucky I get to see a piece of him every time I look into your eyes. All right. <laughs> I'll uh, come back down in a few minutes, hear a few more stories about you terrorizing Joyce, and you get started on a list of things I can fix while I'm home. Oh, don't think I won't. Five, six, seven, eight. No, 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 no. This is the Argentine, not the hundred yard sprint.
stop. It's, it's okay, I'm okay. It's soft. Oh. I just uh, tried to do too much today. I'm, I'm okay. Totally feels like old times. Yeah, the Creek Falls project came along at just the right time. I needed to get away. Too many memories of Taylor and I in Boston. Yeah, I was sorry to hear that you two split. Uh, this is just not my night. Is that something on your mind? Like paint? What? Uh, no, no. Hi, can I have a large orange juice, please? Thanks. Thank you. Um, I'm ready for round two. You want another? <clears throat> hey. That was the, uh, the tango lesson. Wonderful. Would you like to join Wallace and I? Our, uh, our dark games are actually... I don't mix business with pleasure. Nothing good ever comes of that. Sorry, that was a call for. <laughs> Let's see. <clears throat> Honestly, I have been feeling quite myself. I thought I'd stop by for a minute and... Rehydrate after a big class. You seem a little bit tired. Mm -hmm. Uh, Walson, I'll probably call it a night before too long if you'd like a ride home. Oh, that's no, all right. I'll just cap. Hey, you want to dance, pretty lady? Oh, no, I'm, I'm. Yeah. No, not really. I'm just feeling a little. Yeah, I'm actually. I'm gonna get her home. Okay. Understood. I'm on perfect match if you want to look me up later. Thank you for the save, but for the record, I can take care of myself. Duly noted. Is that ride home still an offer? Uh, yeah, it'd be my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. I I'm not too far, just uh, up by the inn. Uh, yeah, no problem. I know it. Uh, so, aside from being a, uh, a mural painter and uh, tango dancer, uh, what else is there to know about Vanessa Brent? Not much to tell. I'm out on the road a lot, on commissions, so I don't really have a home base. Although my rabbit keeps me grounded. Wherever he is, that's home. Like a real rabbit? Yep. He started out as a lark, but uh, turns out he's a real support. Emotional support bunnies. Who knew? He's on the road with me. I never know where we're going to end up, but wherever we land tends to be exactly the right spot. What about a, a home base? Everybody needs a home. I guess I lost so many people that home base got lost a long way too. <laughs> yeah, I know the feeling. There we go. Whoa, check out that bike. Oh yeah, you ride? <laughs> yeah, painter's van. Oh, yeah, okay. Not exactly the same wow factor. <laughs> I can roll down the window and get a good breeze going, but true, not the same. Well, I could take you for a ride sometime if you wanted. You have a bike? Uh, actually, I, I have that one. Why is your bike parked outside the inn? Uh, actually, I, I kind of own the, the inn, too. I thought Iris owned the inn. I'm her son. The one who lives in Boston. Uh, used to live in Boston, yeah. Yeah, I, uh, I had a, a minor life disruption, so I, uh, back to regroup and, uh, and work on the hospital. 
So you live here now? Yeah. With your mother? Well, yeah, okay, that, that it does sound bad when you put it like that. Yeah, I actually, I keep a guest house here, but uh, uh, evidently my mom had to enlist it for overflow. Yeah, I might be the overflow. You're staying in the guest house? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I rented it for a couple of months. <laughs> it's really nice in there. If I owned a place that nice, I would not leave. Well, well thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for the ride. No problem. Good night. over for a party? Did you? Hmm? No? Okay. <laughs> a little more practice, I'll be able to cross number 10 off my list. Learn to tango. You wanna dance? dreams for you. I want you to enjoy your life. My parents do too. We want to give you my trust fund so you can really live. You can pay it forward. I can try, but I, I don't know if I can do this as soon as that you can't. No. No, don't you dare say no to love when it comes looking for you. Because it will. Be grateful you have this life. Carpe diem. Love, your heart's so big.
Now, remission isn't something that we can give guarantees on, but this is what we do know. Good job, Sophia. I love the colors you use. Thanks, Vanessa. <laughs> wow. Would you look at that? <laughs> oh, thank you. When are you coming back? The day after tomorrow, and we're going to do ceramics. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, thank you so much for taking the time to do this. When I heard you were in town, I had to see if you were available to do a class or two. Or it's two. my pleasure. <laughs> you know I follow your work online. Oh, big fan. And you have a great way with the kids, too. <laughs> yeah, this was the highlight of their week. Well, they have a great way of making all of our problems seem a lot smaller. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. You never know how sick they are by their cheery dispositions. Um, hey, I, I, I don't mean to change the topic, but do you know a guy named Nate Dalton? He's the architectural engineer who designed the new build for the pediatric ward. Of course I know Nate. We went all through school together. Well, he, he said he was going through a life disruption. I, I don't mean to pry. I'm just wondering. It's actually the other D word. The what? Divorce. Oh, that's always awful. Well, all I'll say is that she might have grown towards another man. Oh. Oops, I guess that wasn't very subtle. That was right on the nose. <laughs> talking about you. It's been a while. Sort of been laying low. Uh, so I know you have art classes around the city. Uh, I'm assuming that you're, you're plugged into the, uh, the arts community? Yeah. Well, uh, I'm wondering if you know anything about Vanessa Brent, who's, who's doing the mural? OK, weird, again. Yes, I do. She's a very accomplished artist. Do you know where I could see any of her old work? Uh, I couldn't find anything online. Mm, probably because you search under Vanessa Brent. All I can tell you is that her murals are amazing. All painted in hospitals, hospices, and community spaces. She has a following of people who believe that her art has a healing quality. She's famous and always paints an angel in her murals. It's her signature. She's not very open about her inspirations, though, but I... But the gala for the opening of the new wing. Sounds like it'll be a great party. Yeah, yeah, you have your tickets all lined up. Are you following me? First the bar, now you just happen to walk in here? Yeah, no, uh, we went to school together. Hmm. Were you asking Carolyn about me? Now, to be fair, Vanessa, you were asking... I was looking for a professional reference since we're working together. I mean, in the same building. I, I was just trying to... Uh... Trying to get more information than you did last night on your little fishing expedition? Bye, Carolyn. I have an appointment. I, I didn't mean to upset you, Vanessa. I, uh... Nice work, Nate. I hope you didn't offend her so much that she's not going to teach my art classes anymore. I've got to get better at this stuff. Yeah, you do. Because she's amazing. She's been such an inspiration to the kids here, and she's teaching these classes for free, just like she's doing the mural for free. I've never met anyone more generous. I feel like I'm back in eighth grade. Well, I can confirm that you were actually more smooth in eighth grade. I hope I'm not bothering you. I uh, brought a peace offering. It's barbecue from my favorite place. 
Okay. Bring it in. Unfortunately, your favorite place is barbecue. Smells delicious. So I won't send you and your food home. I can stay? As long as it takes to eat dinner. I'm tired, but I'm also starving. I guess I'm lucky I, I caught you hungry. Lucky is as lucky does. Nate, meet Lucky. <laughs> does, uh... So does my, my mom know that you have vermin running loose in the in the guest house? He's not a vermin, he's a rabbit. He's house trained. What kind of heathen buddy do you think he is? One with nasty shark teeth. Oh, he doesn't bite. He's vegetarian. Vegan, actually. Oh, that's modern. This is so good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I pride myself on being a good orderer. Mm. Although I do like cooking as well. <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. I took some lessons not too long ago. But you have to have time to actually buy ingredients to cook. Mm -hmm. Who knew? <laughs> you certainly seem to keep yourself busy. You're always taking lessons, giving lessons. Do you ever just stand still? I do. I meditate and I say prayers for half an hour in the morning, but uh, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Life's too short to waste even a minute of it. I put about 90,000 miles on that old van out there. Mm. And I'm not ready to slow down anytime soon. <laughs> what about settling down? Never. I'm here to make my mark on the world. And that's why I love painting. The art I create will, I will live on. I'll, I'll live with both of us. <laughs> I can capture a moment in time and someone 20 years from now will get joy from seeing it for the first time. <laughs> See, that's exactly how I feel about my builds. You know, it's like I'm a part of them. Do you have pictures of any of your buildings? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah a few. Uh, yeah. Uh, this is from a few months ago. It's um, an apartment complex. I love the lines. It's very mature. Huh. <laughs> yeah. I like the materials you used. It's very modern. And uh, uh, this is from a few uh, years ago. It's a commercial building. Oh, that looks like the front of the hospital. Mm -hmm. Well, you definitely have your own style. <clears throat> uh, yeah, well, you, uh, you definitely have your own style, too. After my little digging expedition, mm -hmm. I found a few of your paintings online. So uh, evocative and, and refreshing. And I, I love the palette. Thank you. I take great care picking the shades I use. How did you move from canvases to murals? Mm. I mean, have you done many? That, that's a long story. I needed to get on the road and clear my head. Mm. And the more of the world I saw and the towns I passed through, the bigger the works got. Eventually, there wasn't a canvas big enough, so I switched to the size of buildings. Oh, I hope you asked permission first. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Sure. Those were the best ribs I've ever had. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you like them. So I'll, I'll grab some time. Have them. Oh, okay. Some um, health issues. Uh, nothing serious, I hope. No, not really. <laughs> it's cold in here. Do you want me to light a fire? I mean, I built one, but I can't get the damper to work. Oh, yeah, it's it's sticky. Here, I'll take care of it. <clears throat> there we go. <laughs> when did you get this place? Uh, it's actually one of the first structures I ever designed and built. You built this yourself? Uh, well, actually, I built it with my dad. Yeah, uh, we had dreams of growing the business together. He'd be the retired words of wisdom, and I'd be the young grasshopper, and chief designer. And then we'd both help my mom with her dream of uh, running the inn. Sadly, he, uh, he passed away shortly after we completed it. I'm sorry. That's exactly why I don't put my dreams on hold. 
I actually have a list of dreams that I want to accomplish. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> Skydive in Hawaii. Check. <laughs> wow. Uh, watch the sunset in a field of sunflowers. Mm -hmm. Check. Learn to tango. Uh, in progress. <laughs> it's like it's like a bucket list. I've, I've had amazing experience because of this list. Uh, you, you should come. I'm feeling kind of tired. Uh, sure. You ever need any help checking things off the list? I'm, uh, I'm pretty good at logistics. Thanks for dinner, Nate. I'll see you tomorrow at the hospital. I'll be the one up on the scaffold. I, I, I meant I could, uh, I could teach you how to ride my motorcycle. I guess you have the first requirement of a bike. I do indeed. Let me sleep on it. OK. Good night. That's worthy. Mm -hmm. I like to start at the top and then work my way across and down. I've had the most success this way. Your mural is going to perfectly complement Nate's architecture. It's like two were made for each other. Nice try, Wallace. <laughs> ah, there you are. Just talking about you, Nate. Oh, really? So, uh, have you given any more thought to my teaching you to ride? Pick me up at six. Uh, yeah, sure. I'll bring you. Uh, I'll bring you a helmet. Do you have your motorcycle permit? Yes, I have it. All right, any other questions? No. I think I'm ready to give it a go. All right, time for your first ride. So uh, take it easy this first time out, nice and slow. Take a big, wide turn at the dead end, and uh, don't take your eyes off the road ever. Roger that. Wish me luck. Good luck. Go get him. I'm right here. I'm right here. Oh. Are you okay? I'll be fine. Just, you don't home. seem fine. Oh, I just need to go home. My meds are there. Okay. All right. I'll get you home. Here. Okay. Here. I got you. There must be something else I can. Hey, how many more lessons do you think I need before I've mastered the motorcycle? Oh, one maybe. You're a pretty fast learner. Maybe you're a good teacher. <laughs> I like to think so. So, do you want to tell me what's happening? There's nothing to share. Maybe it'll help if, if I go first. Um, I am 
newly divorced. Uh, Taylor was cheating with one of my best clients. Ouch. That's no good. That's no wife. We've been together since we were 18. I'm sorry. It's really awful. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe it's the, the best thing that ever happened to me. Maybe your way of looking at the big picture is rubbing off on me. Oh, that's my spiritual side shining through. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How do you adjust to being alone? Well, first, you need a rabbit. Oh, OK. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, it, it just takes time. For me, the more murals I did, the more I felt like I wasn't so alone. I had a purpose. I found my voice, and I wanted to share my voice to ease the suffering of others. You have a pretty deep soul, Vanessa. I wish I could forgive and move on. I know they say time heals, but the rumor mill just seems to make the wound deeper for me. Healing is not a science. It's not something you can instruct or measure. You just got to believe it's going to get better. Wake up every morning and live life. Maybe I need a list. Maybe you do. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting late. I should oh. probably get to sleep. I, uh, I have an early morning appointment before I get back to the mural. Yeah. Thanks for the lesson, Nate. No problem. Good night. Good night. Dr. Bogle, hi. Thanks for seeing me so early. Of course. How are we feeling? Pretty good, generally. Good. That's what I like to hear. Any troubles with the new medication or supplements? A few dizzy spells, but a bit better than the last round. OK, dizzy. Well, the blood work should be back in time for our next appointment so we can make any changes we need to based on that, OK? Sounds good. All right, and I am going to order you another MRI so you can book that with reception on the way out. Got it. And remember, Vanessa, rest is not going to make a huge difference, but it's good to give your body a break. Duly noted. OK. We'll see you next time. Thank you. Hey, what are you doing here? Just getting an early start. What are you doing here? You know why I'm here. I, I told you. Ah, uh, right. The, uh, the appointment. Are you checking up on me? <laughs> I, I really don't appreciate you invading my privacy at all. I was just concerned. The, the pills and the, the list. Again, are... everything to do with me, not you. If you'll excuse me, I'm going to go on with my day. Wednesday. Am I having one of those moments? No, I, I was just in the area, so I thought I'd stop by, check in to see if I could help. I uh, sure can. Hmm. So, did anything come of those uh, questions Nate was asking me about you? There's nothing to tell, Carolyn. Are you sure? 
Nothing to tell at all. I, I'm just, I, I'm not interested in him as more than just a friend, if that's what you're implying. Nate is a person with a lot of baggage, as you all know. Yes, Nate has baggage, but don't we all? And besides, I'm sure it's nothing you could work through for the right person. Yeah, possibly. You know, it's okay to let your guard down, let someone in. I'm more of the moving on, the letting in type. Running away isn't the same as moving on. Hey, you guys. Hi, Hi Vanessa. Hi. 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 Hello, Lucy. She's a little shy. Did you know that we both love purple and mac and cheese? Purple mm. mac and cheese? Yeah. Yeah. Grab a seat, you guys. Hey, aprons first. So one of the things about not being in a great marriage is uh, you get really good at apologizing. Give it your best shot. I'm sorry. No one has any right to judge how someone else lives their life. Least of all me. I, uh, I'm a grown man who lives with his mom. <laughs> Speaking of which, uh, she would like to make us dinner. I don't suppose that mashed potatoes and meatloaf are on your list? Thanks. I would love to join Iris for dinner. And if you happen to be there, that would be okay, too. Okay. But only if I can borrow your bike so I can practice. Sure. Just, uh, take it easy, okay? Can I bring anything? Uh, just your appetite. See you at 7. Thank you so much for inviting me, Iris. Sure. Where's Nate? He's been delayed at the site. He should be here very soon. I'm glad that it's just us girls, though. <laughs> me too. Is there anything I can help you with? Uh, you can pull the ends off those green beans. Whoa, I thought you were a painter. Those are some pretty fancy chef prep moves right there. I took some uh, French cooking lessons recently, and I love garlic, so I put it in everything. Well, they will be très magnifique with my mash and loaf a la iris. <laughs> Nate told me about his dad. Place must have been a big wait for you. Ever thought about selling it and traveling? I feel closer to John by staying here. I get to meet people from every corner of the world. I am part of some of the biggest moments in their lives. We have weddings, christenings, and even wakes and memorials the gamut. I see more living pass through these walls than I would ever see on the road. Yeah, I guess you can have a lot of connections when you stay in one place. I never thought staying put could bring so much joy. I don't have much family of my own, so I've never had those big celebrations. Well, what about your parents? My grandmother raised me. Both my parents died very young. No wonder Nate feels connected to you. You understand what true loss is. Taylor never really knew what Nate went through when he lost his father. All she saw was him moving away from her. There's so much we have to go through on our own in life. But I have a lot of people looking down on me. <laughs> so I'm never really alone. Oh, sorry I'm late. No problem. 
You now have some very fancy beans, thanks to your tardiness. Is that right? Well, go set the table. Oh, yes, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> you have a wise and talented co-worker here. Oh, co-worker. You really are on your best behavior. And I thought you'd have dropped all of your top matchmaking hints by now. Well, I have learned the wishes of a mother don't always bend the will of a son. Even if I can see what both of you can't. <laughs> and there it is. <laughs> all right, since you insist, mother. Vanessa, it's the weekend. What else was on the list? Their phones for the Pinot Noir here. I really love this. All the, the skies are blue <laughs> no, today. No. Yeah. All the clouds have drifted more. away. Yeah. Life what, what is the... like yeah. a work of art. Happiness yeah. is in <laughs> my heart. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Definitely. Good night, mate. Night. Vanessa, you uh, forgot your purse. Vanessa? Intriguing, but you scared me. I need answers. I'm just living life on my own terms. I'm not connecting or sharing your life. It doesn't feel like living. It feels like running away. Fair enough, but it's my life. but you've really captured the spirit of Creek Falls. It's peaceful, 
and welcoming. And you're not even finished. <laughs> Thanks, Carolyn. That means a lot to me. Hey, Carolyn. Hey. Hi, Vanessa. Hi. Can I talk to you for a minute? Sure, if you like. Nice to see you, Nate. You too. Glad to see you back at work. You really scared me. I'm sorry. I wasn't up to talking the other day. What you saw is a byproduct of the medication I have to take to make sure I can keep working on my list. So you want me to stop worrying about you? Yes. What if I want to spend more time with you? Well, we can keep having fun together and work on my list. Well, I did get a peek at that list, and there is something special I think I could help with. Why don't I pick up after lunch and we take the afternoon off? Sounds like a plan. Being on time can be a bit of a curse, but uh, today it's working for me. So, are you ready to go? Uh, pretty much. So, what's the surprise? Uh, today, I am the one with the secrets. Now, are you sure you don't need a secret consultant? Because I have years of experience. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I've picked up a, a few pointers. <laughs> so, I'm guessing there's a car ride in my future? That is uncanny. How did you do that? I'm psychic. Oh. <laughs> Are we going hiking? Because I have sandals on. Nope, not even Hot close. Hot air ballooning? No. Paris. You're taking me to Paris. <laughs> OK, now do I get to see this surprise? <laughs> Patience is a virtue. Uh, sometimes it feels like luxury. <laughs> Ta-da. Oh, butterflies. <gasps> Girl, my grandma told me that butterflies only live for a day. You know, some butterflies actually live for weeks, even months. Really? Yes, indeed. <laughs> and monarch butterflies go on these incredible journeys where they migrate for, for thousands of miles. That kind of sounds like my journey. <laughs> well, I'm just glad that your journey brought you here. Do you have any more fun facts about butterflies, Mr. Science? I do, actually. Um, did you know that butterflies are cold-blooded? They need to bask in the sun in order to be able to fly. How do you know all this? <laughs> I worked here for a few summers uh, to help pay my way through college. Well, that's nice. Yeah, I, I felt like I was on this path I thought everyone had to be on, you know? College. Career, get married, start a family of my own. Oh, thank you. I did not see this big break in the road. Uh, sounds like you were blindsided. Maybe. Or maybe I was just paying too much attention to the road ahead. So focused on checking boxes, I never engaged with my life. The divorce has sort of forced me to pay attention. And are you paying attention now? I sure I am.
Now, I would like to share with you one of my very favorite things. Oh. <laughs> what? How did you? What? This is a peanut butter and mayo sandwich. Mayo? Mm-hmm, I know. You're a little kooky, Nate Dalton. I prefer uh, fun-loving. Hmm, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Okay, here we go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> it's weirdly <and> satisfying. <laughs> I invented this when I was eight. No, you did not. Mm -hmm. Really? It caused a stir in my school. <laughs> a shooting star. I wish. Let me guess. You wish to finish your list. What do you wish for? For you to be okay. I want you to be okay. Are you okay? I'm okay. I told you I can take care of myself. Yeah. I, I just don't think it concerns you. I want it to concern me. I'm just not ready, Nate. You shine brighter than the stars. <laughs> and you know your butterflies. I love that those butterflies made you so happy. Look you, you're freezing. Let's get you home in the middle. No, 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 I like it out here. Five more minutes. Five more minutes. So, what's next? Riding wild stallions, bareback? What else is on the list? Hmm. There's rock climbing. I know a good place for rocks. We'd go tomorrow. Saturday, I'm not working. I should probably keep breaking on the mural. <laughs> but thank you for a truly special day. I loved every minute of it. Well, I will see you for breakfast in the dining room, where I will do my best to convince you to spend the whole day with me. Sounds good. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> good night. What do you think? Can we trust him? I like him too. Maybe, just maybe, we can cross the last two items on the list one day. Maybe. <laughs> Smells good. No early risers. They'll be down in a few minutes. How was the uh, social? Any good gossip this week? Hey, is Arthur Goodman still doing the thing with the suspenders and the belt? Don't make fun of Arthur Goodman. There's nothing wrong with making sure your pants don't fall. Sit. <laughs> I had a nice visit with Joyce. Mm -hmm. Her nephew is coming to visit next month. Of course he is. And all my friends want to know how your children's ward is coming along. Well, it isn't exactly mine, uh, but uh, you can tell them that I'm drafting the last couple of changes. They're going in for approvals. Yeah, we're nearly done. It's all pretty positive. Great. That's what I assumed. <laughs> and how are you and Vanessa? I'm your mother. I see the way you two look at each other. 
She's a lovely person. Cher. <laughs> well, uh, the mural is gorgeous. It's perfect for the kids. She just, she really seems to care. You can tell it with every brush stroke and the way she teaches the children. So this is a relationship then? Uh, I don't know. She's very private. I saw her covering up some bandages from some blood tests. I, I don't know what's going on with her, but she doesn't want to tell me. And I can't have another relationship filled with secrets. Not after Taylor. Vanessa isn't like that. You two are good for each other. You lift each other up. Yeah, maybe, but what if... You need to let yourself heal from Taylor. And, and know that you and Vanessa are a completely different kind of couple. I wish people would stop bringing up Taylor. Who's bringing up Taylor? At the social? Sweetheart, I don't know how to say this except to say it. Joyce heard that Taylor's pregnant. Taylor? My, my Taylor? My, my, my ex Taylor? That Taylor, yes. Nate? Breathe, honey. Uh, I'm fine, I'm fine. I know how much you loved her. You stuck it out for so many years. Yeah, I did. I, uh, I thought we were till death do we part. I, I thought we wanted to have children together. I guess she just didn't want to have children with me. You know, sometimes things happen for a reason. It's only been a few months. She's already pregnant with somebody's baby? Yeah, I would have made a great father. And you will be when the time is right. Exactly. Never. Ready to come in and take the day off, Nate? I can't do this. What? Nate! Nate! He's angry with someone else, not with you. Not one day has gone by in these last few weeks that Nate hasn't smiled from ear to ear because of you. There is no way. No, there is every way he wouldn't want this. I don't blame him. done it all. I've done the silly things on your list. I have done the dangerous things on the list. But the last two, Sam, to love and be loved and to get married, I don't know. I have opened up my heart. You know how hard it is for me to do that. The last two things on the list. I don't know if I have it in me. It's just... I don't know. I am losing faith. I have fought so hard. And I've done all the treatments. And I've poured my heart on countless murals across the country. And I painted you in them as an angel. Because I felt you with me. I am tired. I am tired to the bone. I just... I just need to rest. Please, I just... I need to... need to rest. You have knocked it out the park, Vanessa. 
This mural is 10 times more amazing than I thought it would be. I can't wait to share this with everyone at the opening gala. Oh, thanks, Wallace. So, you think you'll finish in time? I always do. Excellent. Just sealed a deal to remodel a hospital in Vermont. And they asked if you'd be interested in painting a mural for them. Thank you. Are you? <laughs> you bet. <laughs> I love the state of Vermont, and I've always wanted to work on a project there. And a lot of ice cream. <laughs> <sighs> well, they'll find your place to live, and they got a good budget. Great. All right. The more I get, the more I can give back. I understand supporting your cause and everything, but can I ask? I mean, how you living? You need money to live too, right? I have my own means. And art raises the spirits, no matter how dire your situation. I focus on serene colors so that the kids that come in here can feel comfort and light. They need to feel the peace and the hope that art can inspire. I want my art to make you feel better without you even knowing why. I should stop chatting and keep painting if I'm gonna finish this on time for the gala. Let the Vermont Hospital know you agreed to do their mirror. Thanks, Wallace. They'll be over the moon. Climbing is such a workout, I'm feeling muscles I never even knew I had. <laughs> there is a real color in your cheeks. I'm glad to see my son's absence isn't a drain on you. <sighs> it's hurting me more than I want to admit, Iris. I, I, I can't wallow in it. I have to finish the mural in time for the gala. Will you stay after the gala? I don't think so. I got a job in Vermont. I'll be painting the mural of the hospital there. <laughs> Wallace is project managing. You're moving to Vermont? Mm-hmm. All the fresh air and the fresh dairy, it'll be fun. All good points, but will you tell Nate? Well, he's not exactly around to tell. I haven't seen him, have you? His boss called him back on a project up in Boston that was erupting like a volcano. Apparently he's been spending too much time here and the other projects suffered. I'm glad he's getting his priorities in order. You are exactly what he needs right now. If he had said that himself, I'd be inclined to believe it. Please talk to him, Vanessa. I'm gonna miss you, Iris. I should go. I'll talk to you later. So he just left for Boston. I still can't believe he just left. Well, his boss needed him back on a project, apparently. Sure, his work. He came back for the weekend, right? You didn't hear me. Nate left, period. Here you go, buddy. Sorry, I dropped it. That's OK. I noticed you were putting a lot of work into your painting today. I like seeing that kind of effort. I hope to be as good as you one day. Well, I think that you can do whatever you set your mind to, Reese. <laughs> I'm waiting. Waiting for what? For you to say that you'll fight for him. I have done enough fighting for my life. In, in my life. Kind of over it. But I saw the way he looked at you the other day when he dropped by and he barely knew you then. Will you at least just tell him about your move to Vermont? I don't want you to leave, Vanessa. Oh, Sophia, you have so many great friends here. Lifelong friends. They'll always have your back. <laughs> but who will have your back? Samantha. Always Samantha. Who's Samantha? She's someone who loved me and was always there for me. Nothing? 
Nothing came up on your MRI. And your blood work markers look really good. <sighs> Looks like you're just gonna need routine blood work once a year. Once a year? Oh, wow. So does that mean I'm officially in remission? It looks that way. You're a very lucky girl. I know. Every morning I wake up, I'm grateful I'm still here. Well, it's been a long journey, but you beat the odds. And your diligence with the drug regime has really paid off. So no more pills? No more pills, which means no more side effects. <gasps> Thank you. You're so welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Good luck, Vanessa. Go live your life to the fullest. I will. Okay. Lucky, you are looking at a future top chef, or maybe a future Nobel Peace Prize winner. <laughs> future? I haven't had an actual future in years. <sighs> think of all the murals I can paint now, and think of all the new adventures I can have. I can climb mountains and I can I can see all the great art of the world. I can I can sail the seven seas. Although I'm not sure if I like sailing. Well, we'll see. <laughs> Ready for the next adventure, Lucky? Hmm? I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> Hey, thanks for calling. I was feeling a little at loose ends with myself with Nate being gone again. Yep. I'm glad we can go to the gala together. Me too. Life's too short to wait for anyone. You know it. You know what we should do? What? We should stay up all night and watch the sunrise. <laughs> okay, but I need a favor. Okay. Can you teach me how to tango? Can you? I can teach you. You can. I can. You don't mind? Okay. No. All right. We're on. Okay. All right. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> Good yes. night. I love, 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 love it. The colors, the style, the images. This is Creek Falls. And you are giving hope to everyone who walks through these doors for care. It's extraordinary. Thanks, Carolyn. You are now appointed my number one art reviewer. I'm not trying to inflate your ego. I'm truly blown away. You're gonna make me blush. On another note, the kids are going to miss you terribly. I'm gonna miss them too. And I'll miss you. Becoming friends with you has been one of the best parts about living here. And there are a lot of good things about living here. Oh, <laughs> you're gonna make me blush. <laughs> I'll try to swing by and visit the kids before I go. Any chance you could make Creek Falls your home base? You could still go and paint, travel, have big adventures, but just call this place home? I love Creek Falls, but I just have to follow my path. To be open to where the road, my road, will take me. And Nate? You don't see a path that leads you back to him? No, unfortunately. He's still in Boston. I haven't heard from him. Oh, I'm sorry, sweetie. That's really unlike him. I was blindsided. I left my heart out there, open. I'm so confused about men now. Don't let Nate discourage you. There are a lot of decent guys. There is someone for you. You're right. <laughs> I'll meet my soulmate out on the open road. That's very profound. <laughs> <laughs> but tonight we celebrate. Ooh. I'm going to get us more champagne. Thank you. <laughs> <sighs> Vanessa? Wallace? You'll be pleased to know that all your laboring is paid off. Everyone loves the mural. <laughs> you should be proud. Thank you. I am really proud of my work. But I'm also really proud to be a part of this journey. 
It's quite an amazing journey. Yeah, I'm very grateful. Care to dance? I would love to dance. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you still owe me that tango. I do, I do. Yeah, you do. You're a very good dancer. Thank you. <laughs> Is that me? Nay! Hey. Hey, Wallace. Nate? Excuse me. The mural is spectacular. Congratulations. Thanks. There's your signature angel. She's always there when someone needs strength. Your work is so famous, why don't you just sign it with your own name? I don't paint murals in hospitals for attention, Nate. I don't do it for money. I, I do it to comfort the patients and their families and caregivers. To give them hope when there's darkness. To remind them that they're loved and they're not alone. So, you're leaving? Tomorrow. I'm gonna go find Carol. No, please, Vanessa. I know I don't deserve it after my little vanishing act, but I would love the opportunity to give you an explanation. found out Taylor was pregnant. It uh, really messed me up. I had been wanting a family for so long, and she had been resistant to that idea. And I realized now that she just didn't want to have a family with me. And I had to come to terms with that. I wasn't the right person for her. But more importantly, she wasn't the right person for me either. Vanessa, you, you have opened me up to living life fully. And my life doesn't feel full without you in it. You are my person, Vanessa. Look, I hear you. I just don't think I'm that important to you. Nate, I let you in and you just left without an explanation. You just left me here I, alone. I made a mistake. I understand that. I was just so confused about the list and the pills. But while I was away, I came to understand that it doesn't matter how much time we have, just that we get to spend it together. <sighs> time is so precious. I just don't know if I want to invest it in someone who's broken my trust. I'm sorry, Nate. So she walked out of the gala, and I just stood there, frozen. Got any words of advice for your idiot son? 
you've actually shown great insight, even though you've pretty much crushed Vanessa in the process. You are an evolved man. When I opened up to her, it really didn't go very well. Did you hear me say crushed? But you spoke from your heart. I'm sure she saw that. Just give us some time. Give her some time. But she's leaving. She, she took a job in Vermont. Uh, and truthfully, uh, I don't know how much time she has left. She actually seems to have a whole new lease on life. What do you mean? She got some incredible news from a doctor's appointment. She said it was sad, though, because she didn't have anyone to share it with. That girl has been through so much. You're right. You're right, Mom. Right about what? Of course I'm right. I'm always right. I'm your mother. Mind if I come in? Well, you own the place, so sure. Can we sit? So, uh, so is it, is it um, quite, quite a big mural that you're, you're painting in, in Vermont? Very big. Wow. Sounds tough. How have you been? Fine. My mom mentioned that you'd Gotten some news? Yeah, some really good news. You just won't let me in. I, I can see how, from your perspective, that seems true. But I was only trying to protect myself. And Samantha. Who is Samantha? I've heard you mention her. Was she y your grandmother? No, she's not my grandmother. She's my guardian angel. And I am her life. It's OK. It's OK. Samantha, I miss you so much. She knew her disease was incurable, and yet she spent all her strength trying to help me. But that's the strength I see in you every day. That's the life that we see in your murals. After, after she died, I started to get better, and but I went into remission. Your pills. I thought that, that you were dying, and that's what you couldn't share with me. No, no. The pills were to help me rebuild my immune system after years of treatments. I was in remission, but the doctors weren't ready to give me a clean bill of health. That's, that's the news I got yesterday. And I wasn't here to share that with you. I'm so sorry. It's OK. There's something else that I haven't shared. When we first met, I couldn't place where I'd seen your artwork before. I went online and did some searching, but none of it really connected. Then, at the gala, 
I saw your mural. And it clicked. My father was at a hospital in Delaware. He did a mural there. It must have been one of your first. He mentioned it several times, and I, I remember wheeling him back to his ward one time. He pointed out the angel in the mural. Your angel gave my father peace and tranquility in his final hours. She gave me peace. <laughs> so you and I, we've been close even though we never met. <laughs> I'm the painter, but Sam was always the angel. <laughs> well, she brought us together, so, so she's my angel too. <laughs> I was so scared. We started working through your list. The closer we got, the more the idea of you dying, it engulfed me. I didn't know how to feel, but now I know. I know that I have fallen completely in love with you and your spirit. You've changed how I look at life. And, and how precious our moments are here. Life's short. I don't want to waste any more time without you. Nate, I missed you so much. <laughs> I'm yours, if you'll have me. Having you here right now, hearing what you're saying, it's giving me more strength than you could possibly imagine. <laughs> but don't disappear on me again, please. I, I, <laughs> I promise. I didn't mean to run away on you. That was just about my past and, and letting go of old dreams so that I could restart and make new ones to look forward to the future. Yeah. Future. Sam wrote the bucket list. All the items on the list are things that she wanted for me. And I feel sad doing them because she, she never could. She wouldn't want you to feel sad. It's especially the last two. To fall in love and get married. They break me because she never got to meet her person. Never got to feel the way I feel about you. But she'd want you to feel that. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> she would. I love your laugh and your smile and, and your art and your passion. And I, I, love I love you too. <laughs> Falls, our home base. You could travel for your projects, I could travel for my projects, and we could get started on a combined list. What? <clears throat> Number one. Oh, looks like this one's just for me. Find the most beautiful girl in the world. <laughs> and propose to her.
you know, with all the life I've seen come through these doors, weddings and christenings, celebration of family and friends. I have never seen so much love between two people. I know my John could see that too. You may be seated. As tokens of their marriage, Nate and Vanessa have selected these rings. Nate, as you place this ring on Vanessa's finger, please repeat this vow. With this ring, I thee wed and pledge my love. With this ring, I thee wed and pledge my love. Vanessa, as you place this ring on Nate's finger, please repeat this vow. With this ring, I thee wed and pledge my love. With this ring, I thee wed and pledge my love. Before these witnesses, I pronounce you, Nate, and you, Vanessa, husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> 